By the way, I read the lineup for that uh, WWE's Greatest Ladder Matches, and I want to read it one more time because i got a point to this here. Fox hyped that The Rock, John Cena, The Undertaker, Steve Austin, Edge, Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch will be featured on this special. They said Roman Reigns? They said the name Roman Reigns, which, of course, is very interesting because I was bombarded with feedback last night about how WWE has essentially written Roman Reigns out of out of history. Uh, Mark is here. I'm not a big Roman Reigns fan, but WWE trying to erase him from their history is completely ridiculous. The guy has leukemia. He has the right to not wrestle during the pandemic and put his immunity at risk. This person here. It's funny how both WWE and AEW have told their talent that they are not forced to work during the pandemic, but one company is sticking to their word and the other is being petty with the company's top guy. The Roman Reigns situation exposes WWE, uh, furthermore, of how terrible a workplace it really is. Brian, Timothy says, why is WWE so petty? Vince is basically mad at a guy for thinking about the health of himself and his family. Yep. That's what happened. A lot of new fans, apparently, that they would uh, can't believe that they would do something like this. And they literally are editing video packages, yeah, to change history. To everybody saw that make you think that like it was like Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins pinned Roman Reigns at that one WrestleMania when he cashed in, and they changed the video to make it look like he had beaten Brock Lesnar. And that was last night during the Money in the Bank. For those who may have fast forwarded through those things, the Money in the Bank moment that they put on before the main event with Drew McIntyre and Murphy, the Money in the Bank moment that they decided to show from WrestleMania 2015 shows that Seth Rollins is sliding in the ring, delivering a a curb stomp to Brock Lesnar. And then from there, you would figure that Seth Rollins had pinned Brock Lesnar. No, he, of course, pinned Roman Reigns. That was one of the big deals about that WrestleMania. Yeah, so he pins Roman, but when he curb stomps Brock, the screen goes blank and you hear a three count. Uh Like, there... Dude. To be fair, when somebody is hurt, when they want you to forget about somebody, they bury them and they will not mention them and they become a ghost. But in most cases... That person is injured physically. It's not a situation like we have with Roman Reigns. Yeah, but no, there's a difference here. So if they don't, if they want you to forget about somebody, fine. They just don't show you the footage. They don't mention their name or whatever. They are rewriting history to avoid showing Roman Reigns on television. Do you realize someone, this sounds absolutely horrible, but it's true. The last guy they rewrote, the last guy they wrote out of history killed his family. Roman Reigns is trying to protect his family, and they are writing him out of WWE history. It's it's mind-blowing and appalling. Back in a moment, Observer Live.